Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Pink Plum Bob here and today I'm bringing you a brand new speed build. I'm sorry I've been a bit um, a bit shy on the old uploads recently but I've been playing the new Red Dead Redemption 2 game and it's absolutely brilliant. I couldn't recommend it enough. It's so good. So if you haven't played it please go and buy it because it's such a good game and I was so absorbed with that as well as Christmas and New Year's and I just kind of, it's not that I didn't get a chance to do it, I just kind of was just enjoying myself and I thought right I'm going to have a break, I know I haven't really done that many but still, uh, I'm going to have a break and I'm going to come back to it until the new year and I know it's taken until the 8th, I'm recording this on the 8th of uh, January, um, but yeah so here we go, I built this a couple of weeks ago, maybe about two weeks ago and uh, I'm really proud of how this turned out. I've never built anything like this in my life. Like modern doesn't seem to really fit well with me. I never really do modern aesthetic. I kind of do cutesy, cutesy little, cute little things. Yeah, cute aesthetic, aesthetic. And anyway, so I decided to give myself a big challenge and I actually got inspired by watching this YouTube channel and it's about this guy. I'll have to try and, I can't remember what he's called, but anyway. So he basically goes around New York and places like that and he goes and sees these multi-millionaire mansions. And I got inspired to do a big fancy mansion uh, in Del Sol Valley. And I haven't actually done anything like dedicated to the Get Famous pack or anything. And I know that was out last year, but still. Um, I was trying to build a mansion for ages, like specifically for Get Famous, but I just couldn't come up with anything. Um, but I finally came up with this and it, it seemed to all come together. It was quite a challenge, I must say. Um, I had a lot of trouble with the stairs and all sorts of stuff like that. So um, I finally sussed everything and it's up on the gallery now and you'll find it under my hashtag EmmaPP. Or if you can't find it that way, you can find it under my username, which is Emma the Blonde. But I will write those down in the description and link the gallery as well. So this is the LA Super Mansion. This comes in at a whopping 840,607 simoleons, which is the most expensive house I've ever built to date and um, it's an absolute beast of a home to be honest with you and I built this on the 64 by 64 in Del Sol Valley as well and it's got eight bedrooms and eight bathrooms now this does have um, a lot going on so it actually has staff accommodation located just out the front of the mansion because I thought a place like this you'd need staff to come and clean it and keep it looking in good good nick and stuff like that like you'd have staff working for you in this sort of house you'd need the staff to be honest with you and that has two bedrooms and two bathrooms which are exactly the same they've all got the exact same furniture and they've got a communal kitchen and a communal dining room and living room as well which you'll see and i also do put on a double garage um but I will say that this house, it had its challenges. I had, because I've never really used much of the terrain tools, so I didn't, like here, as you can see, I used the roof, roof tool to kind of have a sloped, like, driveway. Excuse me, a sloped driveway. Um, but I ended up flattening that in the end and just keeping it simple, keeping everything around the bottom all flat. Um, and it just made it so much easier. There's also a double garage, which is just there, and there's also like a grand staircase in the entrance. There's two swimming pools, a laundry room, a gymnasium, a spa room, and a changing room, which is all connected in one. There's also a miniature library. There's also a helicopter pad, because why not? Um, the whole of the top floor is the master like bedroom thing, so the whole top floor is dedicated to that. Um, there is also like a tiered garden thing which I thought was quite cool. I've not really seen a tiered garden so I didn't actually do the garden um, flat on the ground. I actually lift, I used foundation and made my own sort of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for now? Not pretend garden. I, I know the word I'm trying to say. It's like a fake garden, a uh, man-made garden. There's yoga mats available. There's a game table, chess table, hot tub, barbecue area, outdoor cinema. You name it, this place has got everything that you could ever dream of so um, I did add a few skill building items and this house is suitable for children for teenagers for sims of all ages and genders so you can go crazy on this I mean if you don't like some of the bedrooms you can just change them and um, so yeah I'm really proud of this place it's 
I, I love it. It's really good and I've had a good response in the gallery so far. I've had like 200 and something people download it and like 26 people favourite it and I've never had that many before. So that's obviously, this is the sort of thing people want in their game. So I'm going to keep that in mind in the future and maybe I ought to build more modern homes. Um, I did have some issues with this as well. Um, I lost half the footage. I don't know why I was having some massive issues with my microphone, with my recording system, everything. So I lost the whole of the first floor. So that's the kitchen, that's the living room, the grand staircase and stuff like that but I do go around in a short while which is coming up soon and I will do like a from a sims point of view and go through it with you and show you what I did because I, I couldn't believe how much footage I'd actually lost I was actually gutted I said to my boyfriend oh my god look at all the footage I've just lost I've lost everything um so unfortunately that's happened but I thought no I'm not going to give up this like this really was a challenging build in terms of recording plus building and it was very time consuming but we got there in the end and perseverance is key to this sort of thing and because I've never built anything like this in my life either um, it's out of my comfort zone, I'm not used to building stuff like this I mean I know that you guys have only ever seen big builds now because I've been doing a couple of 64 by 64s but normally I'm used to like 20 by 30 lots that sort of thing um, but yeah there's the helipad that you can see there and I do size up a toy helicopter and plop it on the top there um, as well and I do also size up some of the cars and put those um, into the garage as well with some junky bits and pieces but here I'm just putting the windows in and the shapes pretty much come together now um, so I will let you know that just in a second it will change over to the other footage which I filmed um, as a sim not as my sim self because I move my sim self into all my houses but anyway I'll leave it here and I'll let me continue in two seconds Okay guys, so we're on the 64 by 64 lot in Del Sol Valley, and here we are. So for some reason, my footage corrupted for the first and the second floor, as well as the staff building there on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do it from a Sims point of view, and we're going to explore all the rooms and I can explain um, what I did basically. So here we go, my poor Sim. She's, she's down there, she's not feeling too good, but never mind. So we're just gonna do it in tap mode anyway, so let's, let's get to it. So here is the outside of the um, staff house, and it's a two bedroom, two ensuite bathroom, little house with a open plan kitchen and dining area. And I lost a bit for this, but it's, it's quite a simple building. It's nothing spectacular. Um, considering it's a staff building, I, I didn't overdo it. I kind of just put the basics in for now. Um, but it's a cute little house. Like it actually makes like, quite a nice little house on its own as it is. Um, but here we go. So it's very black and white. The whole house is very black and white. So it's got a modern kitchen. Uh, just it's just very simple. That's the most you get for the dining. But to be honest, there's not that much space. And then here is the living area. I thought you could have a. a cork board up there for all like planning and whatever they need to do and I also put this thing from uh, get to work on the wall which I thought could be good for their like wage slips or whatever and then here is the first bedroom it's only very small just a single bed and a desk they've both got exactly the same items in each room so it's nothing that exciting but this is what this is exactly what I would expect you would get in a staff building so it's very basic but it's comfortable so here we go so it's pretty basic like I said but we'll move on now to the first floor of the building going up okay so here we go to the grand entrance of this LA super mansion um, here we go slowly but surely we'll make it through we'll make it through right so here we go so we're in and in this room I used just plain white walls for the entire house I use it um, I think I use I use spa day white tiles for the outside of the house and then for the inside of the house I just use plain white paint um, and I also used a lot of marble flooring as well so I wanted this to be very grand um, and look spectacular which I think it does I think I pulled it off so it's a very nice entrance way and I also added a lot of kind of um, statues and stuff like that I wanted it to be 
I imagine that this person would have a lot of like artwork and stuff like that in their house which would be worth a lot of money um, so I put a lot of stuff well not a lot just a few things behind um, velvet rope and I also put like a little swimming pool well it's it technically a swimming pool but it is actually a pond um, and then this is the other angle of the entrance and then what we will do we will go straight into the kitchen which I love and here we go once again white marble flooring white walls white ceiling great and it's very black and white and I use the counters from cool kitchen stuff and I really like this kitchen I think it's really I know it's very black and white and black and white can seem very clinical at times but to me I feel like this is there's enough stuff in here which makes it cosy enough in a sense it's not cosy but it's not it's not clinical it's not too open I like it to be a little bit cluttered up I like it to look a little bit lived in so and then I use these lovely stools I'm pretty sure they're from get famous I can't remember um, those are from get famous definitely and then I use that half mannequin I'm pretty sure that came with get to work and then here is the dining room and I didn't add a separate dining room I thought this room was big enough and it was appropriate enough to have this dining table here in the kitchen and the views are spectacular and we'll move on quickly outside to the outdoor dining space very simple there isn't a lot out here I felt like this 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 was enough there's a bar so you can hire a mixologist and then there's just an outdoor dining area so maybe you could have a nice dinner party in the summer and sit outside and there's also a nice view just a small view of the garden which is directly in front there and then down the stairs I'll quickly show you this is the back entrance so this is like where you can come through the garage and up the stairs and there's just a little bit of seating down there it's nothing that exciting so I didn't bother including it um, but if you want to check it out you're more than welcome to download it off the gallery it's up and running I'll leave the details in the description below and now we're moving on to the um, laundry room so I really like this laundry room it's got a stunning view once again it's kind of blocked a little bit by the swimming pool but you know you can forgive that it's the laundry room and it, once again black and white very sort of minimal but it's it's not minimal so it's it's got stuff going on it's not boring it's not clinical it's nice and there's a nice little view of the little uh, pond area just there and now we're moving on to the living area now here we go this is a lovely area it's black and white and obviously I have put lots of royal blue items into this uh, living space and um, I've actually got to use this coffee table which I've never used so I'm really pleased and I use these um, I'm pretty sure these are the the glamour the glamorous stuff pack ones I can't remember what, I can't remember any of the pack names whereas like when I'm not doing a voiceover I remember everything so I use the get famous um, television screen there and I use the cute little candles all underneath it's all very matchy matchy and of course you have this grand view of the swimming pool and you can see under like underneath what's going on so you can see some canoodling in there and here's another angle so I'll just do a little like kind of Boop. and then over here we have a nice little reading area which I thought was cute once again matching the blue colours and that nice painting from Seasons and I think it looks lovely jubbly so we'll move on quickly I'll show you the bathroom so this is a bathroom for some reason the mirrors don't render once they're kind of like when a mirror has to shine on a mirror they can't function I don't know why but it's, it doesn't matter posh toilet from city living and then just some bits and pieces so that's pretty much all the bathrooms are exactly like this so I'm not gonna bother going through every bathroom so now I think what we'll do is we'll move on upstairs and I'll show you the bedrooms that weren't caught on film right guys so here we go so this was this hallway was put on the speed build I managed to capture this on film and so yeah I'll explain more about that in that section so we'll just ignore the hallway for now and here is the first bedroom. So this is for a child girl sim. And I really love this bedroom. It's got more personality to it than the rest of the house because it's obviously not just black and white. You have got the black carpet or the dark gray carpet, the white walls and the black curtains. And then you've also got a black bed frame, but with the very colorful um, 
duvet set and I match everything pretty much to this duvet set. Now I don't know what this thing is here, I found it in the debug items and I was like wow what is that and I thought that will match really nicely in the bedroom. So. That's where that's gone. Uh, lovely mirror, which is an unlockable as well. And I think it, this is a really lovely bedroom and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Um, and then I also got to use this fabulous chair from uh, Get Famous and I love this chair, it's stunning. So everything matched really nicely in here so we could just pop out of the hallway for a moment. And we will move on to a child sim boys bedroom. So here we are. So this is all red, black and white. It's nothing that exciting but I, pref I think this sim, he would be a bit more creative. So he's got an artist table. He's got a few posters about because maybe his mum and dad maybe are uh, artists, actress, actors and actresses. Um, and also I got from the debug menu a lot of the school projects which were like the excellent ones. So these are all the excellent ones that you kids can do. There's more of them but I just selected a few. Um, as I thought this kid would be very artsy fartsy and he's also got a nice toy box, teddy on there as well and a little desk area with a matching frog. So I think this is a cute bedroom, it's nothing spectacular but it's for the aesthetic of the build it's lovely. So we'll just go around and admire some of the drawings, oh look nice T-Rex head and one of those Salvadorajian skeleton things and we'll move on quickly to the office. Now this is only a very small office, it's um... It's nothing that exciting. Black and white, once again, nice computer, and they have got a duffel bag full of money over there, so. Yes. And then we also have the lovely display cabinet, which came with um, Jungle Adventures. I remembered the name, it's not World Adventures. Um, and I got all of the debug items from there. So that's like the most, the one with the bunny on it, with the green, the plate I'm on about, sorry. Um, that's like the most expensive plate. So I got him to have a lot of stuff like this and a lot of the you know I thought maybe he went exploring one year and that's what he came back with drinks tray for a cheeky meeting right so now we'll move on to this room which is just a bathroom it's, very, it's not very private it has got blinds but I didn't put blinds up here so never mind so once again and I, I, I did just say I wasn't going to show you a bathroom but here is another bathroom so that's it and quickly I will just show you as well here is like a little outdoor bar area so you can hire a mixologist and have some nice cocktails while you're swimming in the pool with your friends so and look at that view that view is stunning Del Sol Valley, here we come. I mean, look at that. Stood there with your cocktail, looking at the other swimming pool, because you've got two, because why not? And look at that beautiful sunshine. So stunning. Right, okay, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest, um, for the footage that I lost. If I see any more missing footage, I will come back on here and I will record. Um, but that's about it. I'll, that's all I'm going to show you at the minute, and I think I'm pretty sure the rest of it... Uh, has been recorded so I'll I'll catch up with you back in the speed ball. so see you later guys so I also put some lot traits with this as always because I think it adds a bit more personality to the build so for this one I added a chef's kitchen trait and the description for this is food prepared in this kitchen just seems to taste better and usually comes out better quality and what it does it means when you initiate cooking you get a plus one inspired chef's kitchen moulin that lasts two hours after you finish preparing the meal and I also added the celebrity homes trait as well but I can't find the description for this one unfortunately it's probably because it's so new so I'll have to try and find that elsewhere but those are the two traits that I added into the game right so how did everybody get on at Christmas and New Year's I had quite a quiet one to be honest I kind of um, I, for Christmas day I just went to my mum's house and we had a nice roast dinner and it was just me, uh, my mum, my stepdad, my brother and my uncle popped in for a couple of hours as well so it was just us, so I've only got a small family um, so that's what I did for Christmas day. Boxing day I went over to my in-laws and I went to see my boyfriend and we played some board games and stuff, we had a good time. And then for New Year's, um, I just went to my boyfriend's friend's house and we were invited to like a little house party thing and we played, blah, blah, we played beer pong and I've never played beer pong before so that was fun and I was getting drunker and drunker and I just could not aim for the life of me. And by the end of the night, because I'm like a granny now, I like to go to bed quite early so I was all like 
tucked up on their sofa and under a blanket and I was just like ready for bed and it was only like one o'clock or something and they had some nice fireworks as well which we set off in the back garden so that was lovely um, but it was quite a quiet one this year I find as you get older um, it gets um, I don't know it seems to be more suited for kids like Christmas Day and then New Year's Day I kind of I, I've been out for New Year's Day like the past three or four years now and it was actually nice to kind of go to somebody's house for once and just have more of a relaxing not getting all dressed even though we did get dressed up um, yeah we got there and we I was so I was in like this skin tight dress I had like bright red lipstick on my hair was all curly and everything and I was in these massive heels and Jay he um, he was also dressed up in a nice shirt and trousers and stuff and we got there and everybody was kind of in casual clothes so like leggings and like nice like just chill tops and stuff and so we got there and we were like oh my god we have so overdressed for this i blame i blame my boyfriend for this because he didn't tell me a dress code and i presume because it's new year's everybody would be dressing up um but they weren't so i packed some stuff with me and I actually only packed like pajamas because I stayed at my boyfriend's and my mum was gonna look after the cats for me overnight and um, so I literally just packed my pajamas the bare essentials you know because all I thought I was gonna do was get drunk and then in the morning I was just like once I've recovered from my alcohol um, I was gonna drive home in my pajamas because that's all I would brought with me clean pants stuff like that anyway so Jay he, he was insistent we go home and change so we did we went home and changed but I ended up wearing my mother-in-law's uh, jeans as well which were a size bigger than me so they were a little bit baggy but to be honest they fit well so I can't complain too much and they were nice because they had like glitter down the side of them so and I just put on like a jumper like a chenille jumper and it was actually all right and then everyone was just really chilled and we had a lovely evening um, so it was good fun but I was a bit worse for wear in the morning like it's you know one of those times where you you're there and you think oh I don't feel that drunk I'm all right and then you get outside and you hit the bed and the room is spinning and you feel horrendous and in the morning me and me and Jay we slept in till like 12 and I normally get up at around 8 o'clock um apart from nights out I usually sleep in till like 10 or something I'm, I'm a little bit of an early bird um but we were we were like really bad so we stayed in bed till 12 and then we had to eat a roast dinner as well we were like oh my god can we stomach this uh but we did all right we ate the roast dinner and we had pudding as well so that really helped because we were feeling pretty pretty bad um anyway i ought to get back to the bill rather than waffling on about new year's and my drunk shenanigans um so this is the top floor of the master bedroom so the, the master suite i'll call it and they have the entire top floor with their private helipad because of course they'd have a helipad look at the size of the house they don't travel by car even though there's two cars in the garage they have a helipad um and i actually really like this i'd never do this sort of in uh, interior design i guess i'll call it that um it's I've never built anything like it in my life so it was really fun to use all the outrageous extra um, furniture and stuff because it is very extra this house it's very very extra it's um, not my sort of cup of tea but it could be somebody else's I mean you guys might love it and think oh yeah I want to live there um, so I added all the extra furniture. I added that amazing swan bath. I do like that bath. I would love that bath in real life. And um, they've also got their own private dressing room, which is a little bit on the small side. I could have made it a bit bigger, but I thought, no, it'll be fine. Um, and I just used gold everything, gold and black and like gray up here. And it just seemed to work really well and yeah so and then it just leads up to the helipad and there's also like a little viewing bit as well underneath the helipad where you can sit and enjoy the view of del sol valley um so yeah that's about it for the top floor i do add the yoga mats up here as well because i feel like they'd have their own private yoga instructors and you know come up and i also liked added those checks as well because i thought oh yeah those are a little bit you know oh look at my checks you know, I've earned all this money and I can afford to have a big gold check above my toilet seat. So I thought that was kind of nice as well. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, this build is suitable for all sims of all ages. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, I had two kind of teenage -y 
bedrooms as well and they've got a sharing ensuite bathroom and then there's also two child sim bedrooms so there's one for a boy and one for a girl so there's plenty of choice for you and also what I like about this house as well I like the hallway and the fact that I made it kind of like a uh, what would you call it now it's kind of like um, not a viewing gallery like a collection a collection of items I thought that the sim that lived here they could have been like a they could be an actress or an actor and these like these are all the prop pieces they got from working on set and stuff like that so um, I wanted it to be kind of like a museum so you walk around and you're like oh look at all, all of the movies I've been in look at all this look at all that I, I'm fantastic I feel like they'd be quite snooty um, sims like look what I've done like very showy showy offy um, come into my home I know I don't know why I'm putting this like posh voice on but never mind so and then out here it's just like a little seating area it's nothing too exciting I didn't want to leave it completely plain so I thought I'll put a couple of benches here the sims probably will never use it in their lives but it's nice just to fill the space up a little bit and I didn't really know what else to put out here to be honest with you um, and left it like that so here is one of the tiered uh, gardens so this is the barbecue area and I thought this would be a, a good bit of fun to have in the sunshine so you can have all your friends over for a party and have a cracking barbecue and there's plenty of dining you know there's plenty of seating areas so you can sit there sit by the bar uh, or you can sit uh, at a dining table which I placed down in a little while and I also use those ginormous like two by two plant bush things which I've never used once again in my life um, so I took advantage of those and I put plop them around um, and just some seating and that's about it for that little area and I put a lot of potted plants around the same ones kind of just dot them all over the place all over the balcony and everything and I and you can see then I just placed down the telly which came with movie hangout stuff which I've once again never used in my life because I don't know if it was a bit unnecessary in the sort of builds I normally do but for this build I thought no it'd be cute to have a little outdoor um, TV cinema area and oh yes they've got two hot tubs I forgot to mention so two swimming pools and two hot tubs because they can um, with like an Olympic size swimming pool I, I mean I don't know how big an Olympic size swimming pool is so I don't know if that's too small or not wide enough or whatever but I would imagine it's you know like an Olympic size swimming pool because they can afford it. Um, I dread to think what the bills will be on this house actually. I ought to get my sim to live here for a while and then see what the bills come through as. I bet it costs a, a few bob, bob or two. Um, so yeah, here's a little seating area. And as you can see as well, the colour scheme I've gone for is mainly black and white. Um, I wanted to keep the entire house white purely for... I don't know, it seems like that's the sort of thing you'd have in LA maybe? I don't know I've never been to LA so I can't I can't comment on that um, and then there's a lot of black accents around and normally I don't go for like dark tiles for the outside but for this I thought it just suited the build really well and also something I, I like as well that I did was the um, living room looking out into the swimming pool area I thought that would be quite cool I know I mentioned it in my other um, little video that I had to do to show you guys around um, but yeah so that's pretty much it and then here's another seating area I mean there's a lot of balconies in this in this place there's a lot going on um, so take your time explore it and see if you like it and if you do like it give it a big like thumbs up and stuff so I really appreciate any comments as well would be fantastic I mean I've had a few comments on this on the gallery so I'm really pleased like I've never had people comment on anything before so I was really pleased oh and here's like the little viewing gallery thing where you can just sit and enjoy the view of Del Sol Valley I thought that was a nice touch um, I didn't really know what else to put there to be honest with you so I just put that there and here's a little like yoga section where you can meditate as well and I put um, I do put a little speaker there as well so you can listen to some music and more seating areas so it's literally just seating area seating area seating area and what I did there I used an ottoman and a just a regular chair but that I believe they're from um, oh, what's it called now the pack I can't remember it's all like the, the patio stuff um, and I just merge them together with the BB move objects on sheet and that works beautifully um, 
Right, so here's one of the bedrooms. This is one of the like teenager bedrooms or even a guest bedroom if you wanted it to be guest bedroom with a shared ensuite bathroom. I imagine this to be a girl's teenage bedroom um, with all the posters of like the icons. Um, and I use a lot of those mirrors with like the ba the backlight coming from behind them because I think they look really nice. And then I, use, I don't know, I just use a lot of black and white in this build and it works really well i know it's quite plain but i feel like i've added enough color and personality to every different bedroom i mean i know i've done two blue bedrooms like an idiot but never mind i didn't really pay attention at the time i was just going around and doing it and then here's the opposite bedroom which is parallel to that one and this is a teenage boys bedroom and I put a lot of movie posters around. I felt like maybe this guy was inspiring to be like his parents um, and he was gonna follow in their footsteps. And it's a bit of fun, I like it with the built-in wardrobes and everything. This, um, this house isn't exactly like symmetrical or anything so there might be a few things slightly off. Um, I never built it with the symmetrical kind of thing in in mind. I wanted it to look symmetrical, but not it's not like perfectly symmetrical. I just built it and went with it. I, di I didn't move it around on the lot or anything. I just built it and left it exactly where it was. Um, so yeah, so this is just like another little hallway section where I put a few more like movie prop things or music prop things and I like put the mirror, not the mirrors, the lights over the top of them to sh make them shine a little bit. And I also use some of the pieces from um, the Jungle Adventures pack because I think they've got some really good stuff which could be like museum pieces in there. So I did add a few of those. And here is the small library, it's very modern. And also those bubble things on the right, I've never seen them in my life and I discovered them. And I thought, oh my God, they're bubble machines. So I, I did two of them in the library because I thought, why not? Um, and I do put a nice little seating area in here. And to be honest with you guys, that's pretty much the end of the build. Um, stay tuned for the screenshots. I've got some really nice screenshots. I took loads of screenshots, but I only put in the ones which I felt were quite important. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And let me know any feedback, anywhere I can improve, anywhere, any requests, anything like that I can do. I'm open to anything at this point. I'm, I know I keep like saying all these different builds I wanna do, but since playing Red Dead, I wanna build a big ranch and have like cattle sheds and stuff like that. Anyway guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.